On Unreal, make sure you have these plugins enabled. MetaHuman Creator, MetaHuman Core Tech, Alembic Groom Importer, and Groom. After that, if needed, restart the engine. When you're back, right-click and go to MetaHuman, MetaHuman Character. You can name whatever you prefer. I'm going to name it Tutorial MetaHuman. If you're prompted to enable project settings, click on Enable Missing and restart the engine again. When you have your MetaHuman ready, you can remove any hair, beard, or eyebrow that you want to replace. This tutorial works for all groom hairs. In this case, I will remove the hair and beard. After your MetaHuman character is ready, you can create it normally by creating the full rig and downloading textures. Some people have experienced Unreal Engine crashing during these processes due to lack of memory. If you experience that, make sure to go to your virtual memory configuration on your computer settings and increase the virtual memory size. Once you've assembled your MetaHuman, go to the newly created folders, open the Face folder, and there you will find the skeletal mesh for the face. We will need to export that as an FBX. Right-click on the asset, go to Asset Actions, Export, choose where to export, and name it as you prefer. You can deselect all of these. We can close Unreal Engine for now. On DAS 3D, once you have your character with the hair or beard applied, make sure it's selected and go to File. Export. Select the format OBJ. I have had issues exporting hairs and beards as FBX to Blender, so I now only use OBJ for this part of the process. You can try exporting FBX if you prefer. In the OBJ export settings, select Cinema 4D. These are the best settings for matching position and size to the Unreal MetaHuman Mesh. Click Accept. Now in Blender, you can delete the cube, lights, and cameras. Go to Import OBJ and import the newly created DAS model with hair. Here we have our big titted Genesis 9 figure with a beard applied. Delete the figure as we don't need it. We also don't need to create or keep a scalp or any mesh attached to the hair, since we are not going to use the hair particle emitter. We're going to use curves. We can see this imported hair is highly detailed and mostly ready to be converted. We just need to adjust it to the MetaHuman face mesh. Import your MetaHuman face mesh. We can click on the bones, which are these pointy things, and press H on your keyboard to hide them. After that, click on the face mesh and go to the material section. Delete all materials and create a new one with a color of your choosing. If you can't see any color, change the viewport shading to material preview. This will be helpful to visualize and separate the meshes more clearly. Hide all other assets. We're going to duplicate this mesh. I find doing this next part is very helpful when we edit the beard. You'll see. Hold Alt and click with your middle mouse button to get a side view of your object. Click on your newly duplicated face mesh and go to edit mode. Activate X-ray so that we are able to select from all sides. Click and hold on the Selection tool and click on Select Lasso. Now select roughly all of the area that your character's beard may interact with. Again, this is also helpful if you're editing hair. After you selected roughly the beard area, go to Mesh, Separate, Selection. Now we have a newly created mesh that is just for the beard area. We can delete the rest of the face mesh and keep just the newly created beard area mesh. 
we have the original face mesh hidden if we need it at any point. Now it's time to edit the beard. Unhide the beard object. Select it and go to edit mode. Go to select all. Move it and adjust it to the face area. You can resize to get the best results. After you got the beard to a good spot, it's time to fix the inconsistencies. We will deform the beard using a lattice. At this point, I will convert the mesh to curves. You can do this after deforming the mesh as well. Do as you prefer. Make sure to save your project, especially before converting the object to curves, as this may crash Blender. In object mode, right click on the beard mesh. Go to Convert to click curve. It will take a little while. When it's done converting, the object is ready to be exported and imported into Unreal, but we'll do final adjustments to attach it to the face mesh more perfectly. Go to Add, click Lattice. You need to edit the lattice to be as close to the beard mesh as possible. Move and resize the lattice to the best spot. When you're done, click on the Beard object, go to the Modifiers section, click Add Modifier, Deform Lattice. Click on the Eyedropper tool and select the Lattice object. Now go to the Lattice object, open the Data Properties, and add subdivisions. You don't need to add many subdivisions, only add enough to fit your needs. When done, we can go to edit mode and start moving the points. That will deform the beard. Take your time with this part. When we have a satisfying result, we can go back to object mode, click on the beard, go to the modifiers section, click the drop down menu, and click apply. Delete the lattice object. With the beard selected, press Ctrl A on your keyboard and click apply all transforms. Now the asset is ready to be exported. Hide all other meshes in the project and keep only the beard visible and selected. Go to File, Export, Alembic. Change the scale to 100 to match the Unreal Engine scale. Checkmark Include Selection Only and Visible Only. You can change frame end to 1 since we're not exporting animations. Make sure to select Render on Settings. Name your file. Export the Alembic file. Open your Unreal project. Import your Alembic file. You should see a window like this. Change X rotation to 90. Change Y scale to minus one. This is necessary to match Unreal's directional alignment. Import. Open the recently imported Groom. Go to the Strand section. Mark the option 
hair width. Go to the material section. Add a new material slot. Search for the material MI underscore hair. You can give the slot the same name. Go back to the strand section, select the material. You can choose whether or not to apply physics. In this case, I won't apply it. I'll increase the hair width a little bit, since this is for beard. The last thing I like to do is to edit the LOD so that it will always show all detail. In the LOD section, change from default mode to auto and change global auto LOD bias to one. Save and close the asset. In the content browser, right click on the asset and click on create binding. For target skeletal mesh, select the metahuman face skeletal mesh used. Click Create. For Source Skeletal Mesh, select the same MetaHuman Face Skeletal Mesh used. Save and close the asset. Now go to your MetaHuman Creator for your character. Go to Hair, Beard. Open your content browser, select the binding asset. Click and drag it to the beard section of the MetaHuman Creator. Double click on the item to apply the beard. Now the beard is applied. You can change settings to your liking. After that, just assemble the MetaHuman and it's ready to be used. Thank you for watching.